Hi, good morning students. Today I am going to discuss about gametogenesis. In the human reproduction, gametogenesis. Gametogenesis is the process. The process which produce the male and female gametes we know it as the gametogenesis. See here, the gametogenesis takes place in both male and female. Here, in the male, the formation of the process of formation of sperm cells known as the spermatogenesis. Spermatogenesis. Whereas in female, the process of formation of vova which is a haploid vova, we know as the oogenesis. So here, gametogenesis means the process of formation of haploid gametes, which happens in the male, we call as a spermatogenesis. The same way which happens in the female, we call as a oogenesis. So now we are going to discuss about the spermatogenesis, then after oogenesis. The spermatogenesis takes place in men. Here, diploid spermatogonia by the process of spermatogenesis is going to convert it into haploid sperm, sperm cells. That's known as a spermatogenesis. In spermatogenesis, four stages there. Spermatogenesis can be categorized into four stages. First one is the spermatocytogenesis. Spermatocytogenesis. Second event is meiosis. One. Third event is meiosis 2 and fourth one is spermiogenesis spermiogenesis spermatogenesis consists of four events first one is the spermatocytogenesis second one is the meiosis 1 and third one is the meiosis 2 and last phase is the Spermiogenesis. Now, anyhow, 2N stays deployed spermatogonia undergoes the different changes and different mitotic and meiosis divisions. Finally, produce the haploid N sperm cell or uh, Spermatozoa. This complete process known as the spermatogenesis. Spermatogenesis. Now here see before going that the sperm cell, the term, the term sperm cell coined by the D grape. D grape. And first human cell, human sperm cell discovered and described by the Leeuwenhoek. Antonin Leeuwenhoek, first human sperm cell described and discovered by the Leeuwenhoek. First the term which was given by the D. Gray. Now go for the spermatocytogenesis. What is spermatocytogenesis? Usually you know that. This is a seminiferous tubule which is present in the testis. Seminiferous tubule is lined by the germinal epithelium. These germinal epithelial cells undergoes the mitosis. The resulting of we call as a, these germ cells called as a primordial germ cells, PGs. Primordial germ cells. These Primordial germ cells undergo the mitosis and produce the diploid spermatogonia. 
Spermatogonia is the plural. Spermatogonia means the singular. So, PGC undergoes the number of mitotic divisions and formed as a spermatogonia, which also which is under diploid condition. This one is undergoes the spermatocytogenesis. That's known as the spermatocytogenesis. Whereas the meiosis one, it means in the latter stage. Number of spermatogonia form no. In that, some only undergoes the meiosis one. Some are remains in the as a it is a spermatogonia only. So, which sperm cells are undergoes the meiosis one? Your meiosis one, they are going to convert it into diploid primary spermatocytes. Primary. Spermatocytes. These also, which are in the two n stage only, because of meiosis one takes place. Meiosis one takes place. That's the reason these also in the two n diploid state only. Yeah. Spermatogony undergoes the meiosis one. It can produce the equal sized of primary spermatocytes. Next stage, that's the meiosis one. In the next stage. Primary spermatocytes, which are undergoes the meiosis two, meiosis two, it can produce the secondary spermatocytes. It can produce the secondary spermatocytes, which are haploid in state. Haploid in state. Here the thing is. That undergoes the meiosis two. When what is spermiogenesis means? These secondary spermatocytes they change into further spermatids. Spermatids means what? Conversion of spermato secondary spermatocytes into spermatid. We know the known as the spermiogenesis. Spermiogenesis. Here the thing is, one primary spermatocyte can produce the Equal size, two equal sized of secondary spermatocytes. Then one secondary spermatocytes undergoes the meiosis two. It can produce the four equal sized haploid spermatozoa. That's a very important here. From this one, two will be produced, and from this, how many spermatids will be produced? Four equal sized, four spermatids will be produced. This undergoes a Spermiogenesis. Spermiogenesis. Now we we'll go for the one by one process. Now here see the process how it happens. This thing happens. Whole process happens in the seminiferous tubule. This is the seminiferous tubule. It has a germinal epithelium. Means which are the P G C S. Then they convert into spermatogonias. These spermatogonias, which are in the cuboidal in shape, cuboidal in shape, which have a large nucleus, these spermatogonias undergoes the mitosis. It can change into primary spermatocytes in the further stages. We know that in Seminiferous tubules. We can find the two types of cells, which are the sectory cells and the spermatogonial cells. The sectory cells we can identify, which are in the pyramidal shape or the triangular in shape. These are the which known as the sustentacular cells, or else we call it as the nose cells. Or sectory cells. Then here primary, secondary are formed, and spermatid also will be formed. It will be a somewhere in the under cell division. Some cells it look like this, and this is the sectory cell. Now this is the spermatogonia. Spermatogonia. And this is the primary 
spermato site and this should be as a secondary spermato site secondary spermato site right now here see after uh, what do you call uh, this meiosis 2 is completed the sperm spermatids are attached to the septoli cells for the receiving the nourishment from these cells this is the lumen of the seminiferous tubule now after uh, they are uh, matured which are the grab the all nutrients from the septoli cells they release which are embedded to the septoli cell you know after the spermatogenesis spermiogenesis then then they will be detached into the lumen of the seminiferous tubule this process known as the spermiation this process known as the spermiation spermiation means what that which are embedded the spermatids which are embedded into the septoli cells then they are grab the all nutrients they will change into completely sperm cells they detach from the septoli cells into the lumen this process known as a spermiation spermiation we know that here these septoli cells can produce the androgen binding protein and inhibin these two hormones which are protein hormones which are secreted from the septoli cells these can act on the pio that uh, follicular stimulating hormone and luteinizing hormone will be act on this it can uh, enhance the or uh, it can encourage the spermatogenesis process and moreover the interstitial cells are there we know known as the leydig cells leydig cells leydig cells you know that septoli cells discovered by the septoli only here leydig cells also discovered by the leydig cell leydig only these leydig cells on the leydig cell lh luteinizing hormone will be affect on that these can secrete the prime androgen which is known as the testosterone will be released the testosterone also it will be encourage the spermatogenesis spermatogenesis see here inhibin it will be act on the again fsh it can act as an ep feedback mechanism actually in our hypothalamus secretion is the gnrh gonadotrophin releasing hormone when it is secreted from the hypothalamus it act on the anterior pituitary anterior lobe of pituitary gland then pituitary gland can secrete the two hormones which are the follicular stimulating hormone and which is the luteinizing hormone these two will be act on the this act on the leydig cells this will be act on the which are known as the septoli cells then this lh can act on the what you call in the leydig cells it can encourage the spermatogenesis the same thing will act on the fsh and gnrh it can cause the negative feedback mechanism in such way the complete system undergoes the hormonal regulation along with that these fsh lh like hormones it can the spermatogenesis starts at the puberty it can end till the death of the male it's a quite a difference from the female see here in this diagram the polarization what we told here just you can here this is the spermatogonia it's going to divide into your differentiation all are the equal sized primary spermatocytes are formed and here again it is undergoes the primary spermatocytes divides into then here become at two secondary secondary to spermatids spermatids then finally they can reach spermatozoons 
these are the four haploid spermatozoans are formed here into the seminiferous tubule lumen see here at puberty mitosis takes place and differentiation takes place these are all are in the twin stage and the primary spermatozoans are twin stage now we are see one primary primary spermatozoites can produce the equal sized secondary spermatozoites we more moreover the one secondary spermatozoites can produce the equal sized four spermatids anyhow from one spermatogonia four haploid spermatozoans are released that whole process known as the here meiosis 1 will be takes place meiosis 1 here meiosis 2 here mitosis so that's the reason these are all of the diploid from this on goes these are all the n stage what is these are the things undergoes the spermatozoa